Hello, wonderful people. I hope you all enjoyed those photos of Gal in the Golden Eagle armor. It seems that those images were just released. I'd like to talk about two statues that were revealed. Uh, the first one was by Queen Studios. That was a half scale. And we just got one from Prime One Studio that was revealed. And I'm very happy about that. Very happy about Prime One doing another statue for Gal. And um, it was a little surprising as well. Um, at this point, I've done some thinking about the statues that I have, about the upcoming movie, about the Golden Eagle armor. And I've decided that it, it's I, I will get another statue. And it's not a question of whether I will get one or not. It's which one I'm going to get. Which studio. Is it going to be Queen Studios or the Prime One Studio Golden Eagle Armor statue. So, two different companies. There's a lot to consider. A lot of differences between them. Um, for the Prime One Studio statue, we don't know the scale yet. I'm thinking third scale and up. I'm hoping for a half scale because I'd like to put her with the BVS half scale that I have already from Prime One. So I really would like to pair them together. So I'm hoping that the Prime One Studio statue will be a, a half scale. I'm leaning towards Prime One because the two existing statues I have are Prime One. I really love them. I love these statues. The customer service has been great. They, they really helped me out when I broke my sword. They helped me out with that. Um, they got me a brand new sword. So I'm really leaning more towards Prime One Studio. That's why I said, as I said, I'm glad they're doing another um, um, Wonder Woman statue. So hopefully it'll be a half scale because I, I really do want to go with Prime One. So what are the differences here? Okay, someone pointed out the helmet, the chin. Um, looking at Queens and look Queen Studios and looking at Prime One, Prime One got the, the helmet a little more accurate, I think, regarding that chin area that another collector pointed out. But as Queen stated, this is a, a digital render. This is very early on. They're they're taking in they're taking in feedback like they did with their life size bust and they're gonna change it. So what we're seeing right now is not final. That's common sense. We know that, right? What we're seeing now is, is subject to change. It will change. And I think that uh, collectors are right about the helmet. I think the helmet should be removable. Not this A large scale, is, it's too big to have a switch out head, probably. So maybe a removable helmet with some padding inside. So the helmet could, maybe the back of it would have some kind of hinge that would open up and you can snap it shut and there's the hair. So I think the hair would just be flowing out from under the helmet. I think that's how it is in the, in what we've seen so far with the trailer and the clips is that, even with the helmet on, her hair is, her hair is down, I believe. That's what I've seen in the pictures. Okay, because a switch out head might be too troublesome, but you know the. The helmet itself being a removable accessory makes more sense, I think. And the thing is with a large-scale statue is even if I can make space for this thing, I have to keep the box. We all know that, right? I have to, I have to keep another box. This thing is going to be two, maybe three boxes in, in terms of a half-scale, right? Like the, the BVS half-scale, the statue was in one box, the base was in another box, and I'm thinking the wings, those wings might... Uh, hopefully they they won't come in a third box. I, I'm not sure, but it's gonna be at least two big boxes that I'm gonna have to find room for. So you know, even if I find a place to put this Golden Eagle armor statue, and I will, it, the box is another issue too. So what are the difference with the Queen Studios, Queen Studios and Prime One? Okay, translucent resin and polystone. I'll stay with that. I want to say that that'll last forever. You keep it out of extreme conditions, clean it once in a while. And I don't know about this medical resin, okay, but it's not, it's not forever. There is a lifespan on that. 
I'm, I'm fine with sticking with translucent resin and polystone. That's what I have with this half scale from BVS by Prime One. And it's beautiful. It's fine. Never had any problems with it. She looks fabulous. So what would sell me on the Queen Studios half scale? The silicone skin, right? Silicone skin would sell me on the Queen Studios half scale. Just like their life-size bust, right? But my question is, how much of her skin is showing? Like how much skin do we see? It's just her face and her hands. That's it. Now if you look at my half scale from Prime 1 in the, the red and blue outfit. You have her arms, her shoulders, her neck, um, her, her thighs, back of her legs, behind the boots. You have a lot of skin. So it, it would be nice to see that much skin in silicone. But if she's wearing this Golden Eagle armor, she's almost completely covered up. And I'm thinking that this, <laughs> it's going to cost more than the translucent resin polystone. The silicone will cost more. It's going to be a, a bit more pricey. You know, like how, like how Henry Cavill is in the, the, the Man of Steel. His face and his hands. That's all you can see of his skin. So, yeah, people were, made a good point about duplicating the scale that that's unlikely. That Queens will do a half scale. Queen Studios will do a half scale and then Prime 1 will copy that and do another half scale. So it might be, this this Prime 1 might be smaller, might be a third, but I'm hoping it's a half scale. Because if, if it's not, I'm going to have to go with the Queen Studios one. Hopefully we'll see a lot more a lot more um, pictures. I'm, I'm sure we will. But it's hard to really make any kind of um, firm, concrete decisions based on, on this, right? Um... I don't know if it's just my eyes, but I'm looking at this Prime 1 studio statue and the hair looks sculpted to me. Of course, this is just basically it's artwork, right? I mean, that I don't think the, the statue has been completed yet, not even the, the prototype. But it looks like sculpted hair. If you were to look zoom into that, that's what that looks like. And if it's going to be sculpted hair, then I'm thinking it's going to be a third scale not a half scale the color the texture just how how the outfit looks the gold that looks like looks like there's some kind of mesh or something i'm thinking of um the superman um outfit how on the a bvs half scale with uh henry cavill he, there's some kind of um yeah he has some kind of material that's stretched tight over over the polystone over the statue which is silver underneath, right? That gold between the boots and the, the uh, torso area, that, and even, you know, the arms, right? The elbow, shoulder going down to the, the, the gauntlets. It looks like some kind of gold, like a mesh, like some kind of material. That would, yeah, so that would be nice if that was some kind of mixed media and not sculpted. But as I said, it's not like the BVS half scale where you have a lot of skin exposed where you could really appreciate having that silicone skin that extra lifelike um, material being used <laughs> Le pont qui mène au succès est un pont fragile. J'ai demandé pardon sans qu'on puisse me l'accorder. J'ai demandé ma route sans qu'on puisse me l'indiquer. J'ai troqué mes études contre un disque de platine tout en sachant tôt ou tard qu'on publie que de billes. J'ai vu des choses en grand, j'ai du corps, j'ai du talent. Je regarde, je ne suis qu'un homme. Ça capture mon image dans des sets et canons. Tout ça te fait pour moi ce qui te fait. Et les plans. Of course, there's that one tenth one by Iron Studios, a bit small for me. I wanted to something a little larger. So this is an important outfit. The Golden Eagle armor is an important outfit. I, I can't see going for something small. And Prime One, Queen Studios, I just can't see them doing something tiny. Okay, because they make life-size busts, they make half scales, they make 
you know, quarter scale. Even a quarter scale, a fourth scale, I, I wouldn't really want. I, I'm looking for, yeah, I, I'm looking for a half scale. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I cannot, I cannot have a half scale in this blue and red and then a smaller statue of the Golden Eagle armor. That doesn't make sense if you, if you get my drift. If you can understand that, like I cannot have the, the golden eagle armor statue has to be equal to the half scale. It's like Bruce Wayne's Lamborghini being bigger than the Batmobile. It doesn't make sense that way. So the half scale has to be. So the golden eagle armor, I would want her. I would want that in a half scale. Not anything smaller, because then the half scale that I have in the blue and red will be bigger than the golden eagle armor statue and like it just i think that the golden eagle armor is it would it's in terms of a statue in being in my collection that would be like the pinnacle like that would be i mean just a show stopping attention grabber that has to be a half scale for me and my collection now if i didn't have this half scale that might be a different story. So I want, I would like this this Golden Eagle armor to be the biggest statue I have. Or, so that would be a half scale. Not a life size, but a half scale. Not smaller. Yeah, and I have a third scale already, the training armor. She looks good. Um, yeah, Prime 1, I'm, I'm very glad. I was wondering about them doing DC statues, about them doing Wonder Woman. I thought they might have been done with that. I'm glad they're doing that. I want to stick with them. I want to stick with them because they took care of me, like I said. Because the thing is, you can have the same character by two different companies, and it might be different. And I'm talking about the height. And this goes to the height of Gal. I mean, there, there was a collector named AJ who broke this down in very minute detail about the Gal's height and the height the statue is supposed to be for the scale that it is so the inches right so different companies might put out different sizes different heights so if i have a half scale by prime one and then i get this golden eagle armor half scale by queen studios and put it next to put them next to each other it might not be the same height it might be different because it's two different studios and that's why i'm hoping that prime one will, will do a half scale because it, it sh then I think it would go well together because it's the same company. So I'm, I'm just thrilled. I'm delighted that people are asking for rooted hair, realistic hair, nylon hair. They're asking for that. They don't want sculpted hair. They want realistic hair. So do I. I'm, I'm glad that all of us seem to be on that, the same bandwagon there. And I agree with that and it's probably because we've seen tons of pictures of the half scale thanks to people like me right by the prime one half scale how great that looks with realistic hair well i might let you go guys i don't want to ramble on forever but um I, i'm not sure if infinity studio will do something but you know it's getting real now it's getting real it's getting serious so these are two, two big, two reputable companies going for the Golden Eagle armor. They're going to be a large scale, right? And it's not a question of if, it's a question of which one am I going to get. I, I just have to get this. She looks incredible. I have to capture this moment. I have to capture this and get this too and have this because as I was just saying to another collector, Gal's going to transition out of this role. Like She's not going to be Wonder Woman forever. And just having these statues here with me is is very special, you know, to keep that moment in time with me because the movie was it just meant so much to me and it was it was just great. And I, I really took a shine to to a gal in the movies, and to always have that here with me is what makes the statue special, even when she transitions to other movies or other projects, which she will, right? She's already doing that with uh, Hedy Lamar, Red Notice. Um, so, yeah, I don't have much pictures yet, but um, this is what we got so far. 
I'm just so glad to see that Prime 1 Studio uh, statue. I'm so glad. I'd like to give another studio a chance, but I, I need to also... And I, I feel loyal to the company that's taking care of me. I've never had problems with with any of my my statues. I absolutely love my two Prime 1 statues. I love them. I get compliments on uh, about them. I mean, they're just... You know, I feel like I have two Ferraris in my room over here. And and I'm just thrilled. I'll let you go, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy the picture. Stay tuned. I mean, not for me, but just keep your eyes and ears peeled. What might come along. I'm waiting for a, a statue right now. It's a bit delayed, right? Um, production issue, right? But stay safe, right? We've got a lot of shipping delays with the corona thing going on. All right, take care, guys. So, what sets Wonder Woman 1984 apart from your other films? Well, first of all, it's my first solo uh, superhero movie. Uh, and it's like my baby. And it's different than anything else that I've ever done before. Um, and it's, it's, it's huge. And the scope and the scale and everything is just epic and mega, mega big.